The case took another turn when Willoughby recorded his confession on video, where he said he killed the boy because Nunez had sent him sexually explicit photographs on his cell phone in the past and then tried to extort money from him on numerous occasions over the previous six months. Police were unable to independently confirm these claims. Willoughby eventually pleaded guilty to murdering Nunez before a superior court judge, but his lawyer, a public defender, can argue for a lesser term under the plea bargain. A supervisory state's attorney told the judge his office was dropping the charge of murder under special circumstances, which could have resulted in Willoughby getting a life sentence without the possibility of parole. It's unclear why prosecutors didn't go for the charge of murder under special circumstances. Perhaps it's because the notion that the boy was potentially blackmailing his killer created too big of a wrinkle in the case. Yet police could never confirm that, so perhaps the other two counts of murder and child endangerment were just easier to prove overall. 